Yo, we got the main event. The man himself, D Generosity, man. He got the confessions, bro. If y'all remember from the last video we had to from him, he said he's doing confessions in the next one, and we got it. We motherfucking got it. Let's see what my boy. Could, let's see what these confessions is looking like. Greetings. I have returned. Last week, I asked you guys to send me your wildest <sighs> confessions. Right, confessions people. that y'all were planning on taking to your grave. And I'm not going to hold y'all. You guys delivered. But you guys delivered a little too well. And as of writing this, I've had more than 5,000 emails sent to me within the first 24 hours of me posting the video. I didn't know it was Mr. Popular. And these confessions are just one big mess, like a casting couch. Some of these confessions go from, I farted in school, T to... So, so I killed my mom. So yeah, these were all over the place. A lot of y'all also just undershared me in the stories were like nothing. Like they were basically normal life occurrences. I trolled my friend on Roblox one time and I felt bad. Now, I know you most likely a kid that's typing this out, but that's not a confession. D did you also kidnap your friend? That's what I would want to know. And apologize Thank to your you. friend. Some of y'all also send those long Stephen King novel length <laughs> level of confessions. I ain't reading all that. And the few times I did read all that, most of the stories weren't even all that. So why did you write all that? And the other half of y'all overshared. I understand I told you to tell me things that you were planning on taking to your grave. But I wasn't ready. I was not ready for what you guys were about to send me. I underestimated myself. I underestimated you guys. Yeah, because thanks. most of the disgusting things y'all sent me were about playing with your meat. A lot of things about poop and pee. I even saw a few brother-sister activities. That's gross. I don't want to get too into them. You people need a lot more help than I expected. I mean, I knew there was going to be stuff about playing with meat. But the cousin stuff, that was oh out of left God, field, man. Bro. It's like y'all living in an anime. A bad one. But still, thank you so much to everyone that sent one, even though some of y'all are terrible people. But if you love me, I love you. The love is mutual. But some of y'all need help. But without further ado, let's just start reading some. I'm gonna read some not-so-bad ones first, just so we can start in a, you know, a not-so-bad note. Like a happy note. Let's start with this one titled, Silly Little Secret. Anyways, at a sleepover at my friend's, one of my friends mysteriously had one of his glasses lenses come out. I accidentally stepped on it because it was dark at night and he put it on the floor. Ah, oh, shit. Sucks. That honestly sucks for your friend, dude. Make sure to apologize to them. All right, that was a nice one. All right, next confession. Nutted on my grandma. What in the fuck? Brother, when I was 14, I was doing my thing in my room, you know, wanking my as you do. And bro, it sucked. Like, I couldn't get my going. So I was just scrolling through my phone and I found a photo of this lady holding a dog. I didn't wink it to the dog. Thank you for clarifying that. I, I was getting worried. And didn't know who she was. And I was like, she, she's kind of fire. So like, I got, I got my shit going in. Like a year later, I was flying to America to go to my grandma's funeral. And bro, I recognized her. They used the same image I nutted on a year earlier, dude. I'm sorry, grandma. I got hard during the speeches, though. What? What? Love your videos, what by the way. Fuck? Oh, thank you, man. Honestly, I could have forgiven you for most of it because, you know, you didn't know and you just found out. But that last part, bro, that was unwarranted, bro. You need help. Okay, this next one is titled, Do I Regret It? And the first word is yes. You know when you're in a weird crew of teenagers in high school? Well, I was. And we were playing truth or dare. I ate poop off the f***ing floor. Wow. I hope those crew of teenagers are behind bars right now because those are not your friends. Those what not kind your of friend friends, was there bro. another friend to do something those like that? You should have pooped on the floor and threw it at him. I hope you're doing better, dude. Okay, this next one is just titled Confession. And the confession is I like One Piece. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Get bad. this man out my sight. I don't want to see you ever trying to talk to me ever again. Man's trying to start a second pandemic with all those nasty diseases he's trying to spread. Just Never come back. Okay, this next one is titled Rip for My Nub. This happened when I was seven, when I was in my cousin's pool visiting for his birthday. And me and my older cousin were playing with the pool drain for the jets and shoving things in there. It got to the point where we were shoving body parts in the drain. Then my older cousin bet me some decent Pokemon cards to shove my thing in there. So yeah, my childish ass brain took the deal. In a few seconds, everything was well till I felt a crazy acute pain where a thing was supposed to be. And yeah, so most of my willy got sucked up and now I have a little nub for it. So jump back to present day, my girlfriend wants to get dirty with me and I don't know how to tell her about my tiny nub. Any advice? Also, my balls are still there, don't worry. You know what? That's gross. I relate to the story. 
I mean, not to the no pee pee part, but like to the water jet thing. Every man has thought about doing that. No matter nah, what. Nah, not me, bro. Every man has thought about doing those things with the water jets in the pool. So that's not nothing me. to be embarrassed not about. Not me. Nah. It's just sad that you had the worst outcome possible. At least you can still have kids, bro. And as for your girlfriend, of course you're going to have to tell her eventually. Hopefully she takes it well and both of you guys can go through this and live happily ever after. And the next time you guys ever want to do the dirty, just take her to Six Flags. The King the Ka is more exciting than anything that can happen in the bedroom. I wish the best for you and your relationship, bro. I love you. And I hope you got those Pokemon cards. Next one is titled... My mother is a Karen. When I was a child, I found out that my mother was a Karen. One time while we were at a fast food chain, she pushed down a glass vase because her food took too long. Once we left, she said, it should take them at least the entire night to clean that out. There was another time when she ordered a hamburger with no pickles for my younger siblings. However, the workers accidentally added pickles. This caused my mother to fly into a rage and start yelling at the worker throughout the drive-thru while my father tried to convince her to stop. It got so bad that the manager had to threaten to call the police on her. Luckily, that didn't happen. I feel bad for all the children of Karens, bro. Moment of silence for them. Yeah, because for every time they go out with I them, they have you, the risk of encountering I know if you... I know a few uh, children of Karens, bro. Personally, it's kind of bad. I feel bad now. Scariest thing imaginable. A minor inconvenience. And now they're screaming at the cashiers for doing their job, but not in the way that she wanted it. I feel bad for you, my friend. I hope your mom realizes one day and thinks to herself, wait, am I a bitch? I hope <laughs> the best for you. Stay strong. You can get through this. All right, this next one is titled, I ruined my friend's chance of getting a girlfriend on accident. I was talking to a girl my friend likes and the girl hated anime. I did not notice, but my buddy loved it. So I tried to help my friend by talking about good stuff he does. I don't know why I mentioned that he loved anime, but I did. And the girl said, he likes anime? Ew! And at that moment, I realized I screwed up. There was no going back. She avoided him for the rest of the year and I never told him. Honestly, you made your friend dodge a bullet right there. That girl is no good for him. Who gets so turned off by a person like an anime I that mean, they never interact with them for the rest of the year? Unless your friend is one of those weird ones, which I doubt I trust your friend, then that girl is just being over the top. They would have never worked out in the end. You did a good thing for your friend, bro. You are the hero of this story. Next, my confession is I beat my dick with mustard. Okay. Next one can't be as bad. One time, me and my brother pissed in a bottle and we started taking turns pouring in on each other what the fuck sounds Hello? very smelly all right next one can't be as bad i found my sister and my mom's only fans and i subbed to both of them i guess you got to keep money in the family somehow you're trying to create that generational money at least i hope okay next one can't be as bad it can't be as bad i fucked my stepsister in mexico oh not even God, kidding bro, bro. You know that I can see your names, right? I might be censoring your names in the video, but doesn't mean I can't see them when I'm reading the email. I can say your names right now and end your career. All of y'all. Say I won't. I'm talking to you, Billy Theodore. I'm talking to you two. It can't possibly, oh possibly get any worse than that, Bo. It can't. Yeah. It just can't. Next one. Confession. I'm not subscribed to Degenerosity. <laughs> oh my God! That's bad. The horror! You blocked! <laughs> You're blocked! That's bad, Get bro. Out. I don't need heathens like you in my emails. I hope I don't read another one like that again. Next one. My confessions. I pick my nose and ass and I eat both the things that come out of those actions. Second confession. There are better YouTubers than you. Okay, you see? Okay. All that nose and ass picking you be doing, that, that made your brain all foggy. That's why you think the second one is true. You're disgusting, bro. Wait, what was that? That, that made your brain all foggy. Let's go golfing. you think the second one is true. You're disgusting. Let's go golfing. Why don't you eat some actual brain food, like lead? I eat it, and I'm the smartest person in a one-foot radius. But I hope you get out of your picking hobby, you know? All right, yeah, next so weird, one. Buddy. I walked in on my dad sleeping with my uncle. No. That's a title. Okay, I know the title sounds really bad, so let me explain the situation. When I was like 11, I walked in on my dad drunk and flirting with his brother-in-law, mom's brother, and I saw the whole thing unfold. Okay, that sounds better. I, I thought it was his brother, you know? That would have made things weird. I mean, this is still weird, but this is slightly less weird. When he got sober again, he promised he would give me anything I wanted if I never told my mom. I'm now 16 and they got a divorce a few years back. <laughs> Dad then went to brother-in-law and married him. Yeah, I've been keeping it hidden for the past like five years because I don't want to end up on the street. 
Love your vids, bro. This is something, bro. I honestly yeah, don't know how it'd feel if I was in your situation, man. I don't even know how to comment yeah, yo, on this, I don't, other than this reminds me of the plot of the movie that. The Whale. But instead of teacher and student, it's brother and brother. Yeah. In law, but I hope the best for you, and I hope the best for your mom. I know that whole family situation is probably really weird for her. I hope the best for you and your family, especially you and your mom. Next, I blackmailed EDPs on Snap and I ruined someone's life. I had a decoy account on Snap where I would message EDPs and find Wait, their location. What? After that, I would threaten to call the police if they didn't send me money or I would just take their credit card. Oh, that's Once what, I that's did this, I decided to post it on TikTok. I took a screenshot of the notification where it said their name and how much money they gave me. I posted his phone name on my TikTok by accident and someone found out where he lived and messaged his family. That's Not gonna crazy. lie, that's a pretty good side that's hustle good, you got there, bro. You seeking vigilante justice against these weirdos and you also making a bag out of it congratulations to you he also WCAM. sent me two screenshots of evidence one showing a conversation they had between each other you don't look 14 though no. okay okay but you look cute thanks <laughs> and the second screenshot just shows the dude's full name and face and the payment amount that he got blackmailed out of <laughs> i'm not gonna show that but the dude looks as she texts. But good for you, dude. Keep doing your side hustle. I hope you become a millionaire. Next one is titled Fish Party. There was oh one boy. time I was watching The Little Mermaid with my two friends. Uh. So half an hour into the movie, one of my friends just leaves without telling us anything. Us, the remaining two, figured he just went to the bathroom or something. But in 10 minutes or so, he got back with what appeared to be a living trout in newspaper in his left hand. Huh? We asked him what did he need the fish for. So he, without saying a single word, Bird, pulled out his tiny willy. Believe me that it was not a grower and started doing things to the poor fish's mouth. Come on, Again, bro. The That's fish not was real. still pretty much alive That's not real. and it was just helplessly waving his tail and fins while our That's friend not, was no way. That's real, bro. Oh my god. That's not real. Sooner or later when he was done with the fish, he was doing it for about 20 seconds. That's he asked sad. us with a dead straight face. Did you like my April Fool's joke? It was not April. It wasn't even the first day of the month. In reply to this, we just stared him dead in his eyes, waiting for him to realize what he had done. I kid you not, Bro. it took him about three minutes or even more to finally realize what disgrace and unholy duel Bro. he just committed before he just left my friend's house without saying a single word. Should I say less, we never hung out with him ever again. Like ever. That's not the type of fish party I came in for. That was more like a lemon party, man. That's disgusting. That's I'm wild. so. Uh, I don't even want to talk about this no more. Moving on. R.I.P. Bozo. I've been telling my older sister for six years that I killed her bunny in an accident. She was away at a swim meet and trusted me to take care of her rabbit. I was so little, so I thought the rabbit wouldn't die when I oh. chucked it across the room at light speed because I thought I was Luffy. I literally am him. Turns out, on, I imploded its brains. I was so terrified and remorseful, I started begging to the heavens, then came up with the ultimate cover-up. I told my sister I walked in the room and opened the door a little too quickly, and the stupid rabbit was in his way, so I bonked it on his nose lightly she took it to the hospital and it had a seizure and killed itself she forgave me later because she thought i did it by accident but to this day i haven't told her that i did that big fan by the way i don't even think that because you're a little excuse is good enough bro when i was little and i was told to take care of something i would just ignore it because ignoring it would be the 100 percent guaranteed that i would still look and be the same when they come back to yep. get it Unless they're gone for like three weeks or something. But no, she was just at a swim meet and your first thought was to chuck it across the room as hard as you God can. Damn. You are evil, not Luffy. And you made it kill itself, bro. What's, what's wrong with you? Tell your sister the truth, bro. Tell her that you're the Antichrist, bitch. But you love my video, so I love you too. All right, next one. I once played hide and seek in the dark naked with my cousin. Okay, bro. Next one titled... Hello, mate. I pooped on my brother's spaghetti and he thought it was a meatball on okay. eight. It was so funny. If you were my brother, I'd legit commit war crimes onto you, bro. Okay. That's an unforgivable act, not gonna hold you. Next one is titled My School. Not really to do with me directly, but I digress. Like four years ago in a math lesson, there was a question about slavery. It had like different kinds of slaves, what they can do and how much they cost and things like that. Then my teachers took it a step further by making us act it out as some people are visual learners and understand it better if they are shown. So they had the black students be slaves and turn my math class into an auction house for slaves. This was in England in an all-girls school, by the way. 
What? What? Man, what? what? Why would the teachers make a mock slave auction in nah, math class? Nah, come on, class? dog. This is math class. Who was your teacher? Miss Morello from Everybody Hates Chris? And your teachers wanted to say, oh, this is for the visual learners. Bullshit. They just wanted to see what they could get away with. The person All also right. sent a picture of the slave questions that were on the math test. Lot one, two fell up oh, slaves, no. one man, one woman, aged 18 and 23, respectfully. The woman is pregnant. Lot two, like, wh why, why? 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 You need to report that school. You need to report those teachers because I'd be damned to have Miss Morello as my teacher. Martin Luther King is screaming in his grave hearing this. All right, this next one is short and sweet. It's titled Homo Sh. Me and my friend accidentally kissed, walking towards each other, looking at each other straight in the eye. We both real men. We don't talk about that. I ain't gay. <laughs> I recommend you and your yeah. friend to explore each other's bodies. Next one is titled Goofy Eye Confession. Once me and my few friends bullied this girl to the point she had to get a therapist and try to blank herself. And I felt bad and told my parents about it and found out she was my cousin. And her side of her family tried to jump me and my friends and put one of my friends in the hospital and my friend's family sued them so like two of them in prison. Send help, bro. Sounds like you experiencing the consequences of your Damn. actions, bro. Sucks to be you. Next, how I got back on my ex. So basically, less than a month ago, I got dunked while getting a haircut. So I thought of ways to get back at her. It was either jumping her freaking mom and her aunt or switching her aunt's newborn with a random black baby. So I made a plan to see when her aunt is in the hospital. I'd switch the babies around while no one was looking. As I entered the hospital, I asked where her aunt was and they said down the hall into the C-section area. I went there and that's where the kids was being held and I went in there and switched the babies and made a dash out of there. I think I'm going to jail. Also, fuck you, <laughs> and the ass auntie. Sincerely, the nigga who did that. Honestly, I don't even know if I believe this story. I or believe not. it. They just let you in the baby section, a random grown man, and then you switch the babies out. Ain't no way, bro. But this was still funny, and you did a very petty thing if this is real. And I'm rooting for you, brother. To go to jail. Next one. My confession. I hate one of my friends. This bitch is so horrendous. I wish she would get the fuck out of my life. Whenever I see her, I wish I could shove her into a box and ship her to Switzerland. Damn. I swear I have a reason to hate her. She hurts me and other people really badly, and I want her to leave my friend group so bad, but she's literally my best friend's other best friend. So if Damn. I try to get rid of one of them, I'd risk getting rid of both of them. Don't know what to do, to be honest. Honestly, your first idea of shoving her into a box and shipping her to Switzerland ain't that bad, but I got a better idea. Give her a gift, an all-expense paid ticket to the Titanic. That's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Who gonna pass up on that? And then yeah. after that, you and your best friend will be the only best friends. You're welcome. Confessions from South Africa. So this is what's happening. I've been dating the same girl for the last four years. Everything is nice. There's been a few bumps here and there. Now I'm expecting a baby with a sneaky link I met three months ago. Where to from here? You said South Africa, right? I recommend going to North Africa and, you know, just stay in there. Never come back. That's my where to from here. All right, two more. Titled Confession. I'm 19 and have been with my boyfriend for three years. Yesterday, I found out I was pregnant. The problem is I don't think it's his because I've been f***ing his dad for the past year. And before you judge, if you saw his dad, you would understand. I know this is a confession, but do you have any advice? Now, I've never gotten <laughs> pregnant by my boyfriend's dad, so I don't think I'm the best person to ask for advice for this. But in my opinion, I think you should be honest with your boyfriend. Yeah, man. And hope to God that that baby isn't his dad's. You might be ruining all of you guys' relationships, his relationship with his father, his relationship with you, but... Fucking hell, man. I'm finished. Next one, and last one. My uncle almost sent a hitman to my grandma. Throughout my mom's childhood, she has been thinking her parents were chill, but nah. I'ma skip a lot of it, but basically they are cheating on each other for like years and years, and it came out like 10 years ago. Once it all came out, they got a divorce and eventually found other people to marry. My granddad ended up marrying someone who was almost 20 years younger than my mom. They did end up having a kid literally three years after I was born, but literal hell 
hell got loose and the big bad stuff happened right after my great grandma passed. My crazy ass step grandma divorced my granddad and they signed a prenup. And all of the inheritance money my own mother was owed got given to her and she is still getting tons of money by my family. We have gone to court cause of this bitch and her cycle ass ended up ruining my grandfather even more. I could go on about this story but my uncle ended up searching for and found a hitman. That's fucking Literally crazy. was about to transfer the cash but my mom with her goody two shoes ass decided it was not morally right. Anyways, this bitch has ruined my family. I would be rich if it wasn't for her. And also, if it wasn't for my great grandfather. We had millions in our family, but not one of us has seen a cent of it because he had a gambling issue. And to this day, we are all broken sacks of crap and she lives in a goddamn mansion with her son or my uncle, who I am three years older than. Wow. I feel like you're the only person on earth that can say your life is actually a movie. I feel bad for your family. I really do. And for legal reasons, I have to say I'm joking. I'm joking. But I can understand why your uncle would try to do something like that. Yeah, and I hope crazy. you guys get all of your money back one way or another. And that's all I'm going to read. I know I haven't read thousands of more, but this video is already mad long. Yeah, you guys so get the gist. A lot of y'all have problems or have friends that have problems. Thank you to anybody and everybody that has sent a confession. I'm genuinely thankful. Don't send any more, though. I'm probably never going to use this email again. But before I wrap this up, I've read some very heartbreaking and sad confessions that you guys have sent me that happened in your lives. And to anybody who has gone through bad and trauma-inducing events that have happened to you, I just want to let you know that I love you. I know good things will happen love. to you. I know there's a light at the end Much of the tunnel for you. And I'm not good at words with this, but you are loved and wanted. Even if you Much feel love, like you're not, bro. you yes, are. Sir. And kick the ass of whoever did you wrong. And if you can't do it physically, do it emotionally. That might make you feel better. Maybe. I don't know. You are loved and I love you. And I wish, hope, and no complete happiness will be in your future. And in conclusion. In conclusion. This one's wild. On your name. Future. And in conclusion. This one's wild. Okay. My days, I like always my okay. All right. Yeah, we can go ahead and cut it there, man. All right. That was. <laughs> that just. That just. Uh. That just never hurt. hurt. Big shout out to Degenosity, man. Of course, always leave his. Uh. Well, I'll leave his shit in the description, man. Always.